dudes. Yeah. So, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video. Um, just been kind of busy. Been busy at work, busy around the house. So, um, about a week ago, a week and a half ago, was my 10 month anniversary of being sober. Made myself a promise a very, very long time ago when I was a kid that if I ever had kids and I was a drinker, that I would quit drinking. So my daughter turns a year old here in a couple months. So um, I'm using her birth date as my sober date. I actually quit drinking a few days beforehand, but I can't really remember what day it was so her birthday is easy for me to remember so I'm using that as my sober date so um, the video today is basically you know um, I was talking about addiction and uh, I was an alcoholic for quite a few years uh, I started when I was in the military um, I drank quite heavily all the time. Um, I actually have a portion of time where I was not sober for like six months. Like every day I was drunk. And I was always drunk. And I was I always had alcohol in my system. Not really proud of that. Um, but like I said, it was a pretty easy decision for me to quit drinking when my daughter was born because the person I become when I've been drinking is not someone I really want her to meet and be around. And um, I basically quit drinking for her, not just for her, but myself and my wife. You know, because it's stressful enough having a baby in the house, let alone having having a having me around when I've been drinking so um, so my, my big thing is like for people that are struggling with addiction or alcoholism or basically anything um, you know is to find the one thing you know the one thing one person that's to you and just to hold on to that and use that as your goal because like for me yeah I haven't drank in 10 months but every day I want to go home and have a cold beer I want to go home and have a glass of whiskey I mean anyone that knows me knows that I love whiskey I love it I love it I love it and I'll say it one more time I love it Oh, excuse me. Um, I can drink whiskey straight out of the bottle with a straw, like it was not fan of water. Um, I love it. <laughs> but so, anyways, to piggyback off this too was <clears throat> man, I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> Sorry. So I have like this weird hobby thing that I do. Um, I write songs. I can't play the guitar at all. I've tried to learn. I own a guitar. I can play it, kind of. But I don't really know how to play it well. So, but my hobby is, is like I write songs, I can write lyrics, but I can't write music to them. But, um, so I wrote this song based you know, on my struggle with alcoholism and also from my love of whiskey and um, I called it Whiskey Stole. Uh, I'm going to try to sing it for you guys. I am, disclaimer, not the best singer in the world. I don't claim to be. I don't really try to be. But this is a song I wrote. It took me probably a year and a half two years to actually write it and get it where I like it and where I want it to be. 
this song is basically just for a message because, I mean, it's, like I said, it's basically about my personal struggle with alcoholism. So, uh, this song's called Whiskey Stole. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to sing this. Hopefully your ears aren't bleeding by the time I get done. If you don't like it, fast forward it. So, anyways, like I said, this song is called Whiskey Stole. I'm trying not to butcher it for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah. So. Here we go. The whiskey stole a part of me. Sold my soul to the devil in Lynchburg, Tennessee. I should have spent this time peeling back a lick. And all the time on my knees. Praying to Jesus for you forgive me. Wash away my whole sins Because whiskey stole a part of me I got a six month period of my life Where it's all just a blur And I can't account for all the stupid shit That I know I don't Because whiskey stole a part of me Sold my soul to the devil in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Yes, you spent this time feeling back a lick. Old time on my knees. Praying to Jesus for you forgive me. I wash away my whole sins because whiskey stole a part of me. For the love and love a good woman, the Lord knows where it'd be. If she seemed to be the only one who could really see. In that whiskey stole a part of me, sold my soul to the devil in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Yes, she was spent this time feeling like a lick. Old time on my knees, pray to Jesus for you forgive me. Wash away my whole sins, cause whiskey stole a part of me. Whiskey stole a part of me. Yeah, whiskey stole a part of me. Yeah, whiskey stole a part of me. And so my soul to the devil in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So Jesus, will you forgive me? So yeah, that's the song. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that I didn't embarrass myself too bad. If you're out there and you're struggling with addiction, alcoholism, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Um, you're not the only one. It's not a crime to need, need help to better yourself and better your life for yourself and those around you. And like I said, it's just really important that you find the one thing that like, just means the world to you and don't lose sight of it. For me, like I said, every time I go home, you know, go out to eat or anything, I want to get a cold beer or a glass of whiskey. And uh, all it really takes for that to go away, that urge, is, you know, just take one look at my daughter. One, you know, and it, it, it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing this, because of her. But, you know, I don't want her to see this person I am when I've been drinking, and I don't want her to be around this type of lifestyle. So, that's going to end the video. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Y'all drive safe.